Hi everybody, welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed an online system to help you win. It doesn't matter what sport you bet on, on, we've got all the tools for you right here to make your picks. So we're going to get into some NFL action for week six. But before we do, I want to invite you to join and you will have access to the VIP club session. Look at all these uh, tabs here across the top. All of these have excellent tools to help you make your selections. Okay, so. We're going to look at NFL again. It's a pretty full slate of games. There are a few teams on the bye. We're going to take a look at four of the games for this week. And the first one we want to look at, as we go down through, is the Cleveland Browns and the Philadelphia Eagles. Cleveland comes in at one and four. Dead stats here, losers over the last three. While the Eagles are averaged down, they are two and two on the season. But they're getting a big boost this week with their two starting wide receivers coming back in the game, which really boosted their line. I think the line opened at minus three, but once we found out that the, these guys were coming back, the line is now at eight and a half in favor of the Eagles. So you can see the odds are 1.222 to 4.50, and um, the over-under is sitting at 42.5. You see the teams are trending in games uh, under the line. Uh, most of the games, wait, wait, let's see, five out of the last seven between the two teams combined under the line. Philadelphia is a four and a half star game winning pick and four and four and a half star home favorites in average down status are one and oh in the last 30 days. The score prediction is for Philadelphia 37 and Cleveland 18. Confidence in the prediction though is rather low at only 42 percent. Um, if we take a look at the power ranks indicator, this is a little bit deceiving here. Um, the, the one and four Browns are 16, and the Eagles, uh, even though they're two and two, are at plus six. That's a little bit of a mystery, but that's what this is saying at the moment. But I'm taking that with a grain of salt here. Uh, if you take a look at the volatility oscillator, neither team has been consistent with regard to their favorite underdog stats, particularly Cleveland at minus four and Philadelphia right now at minus one. Let's take a look at the movement and the money line. Like I said here, you see how it opened here at 1.312 for the Eagles, which is still a, a favorite for the Eagles. But then you can see there's a big movement here, and now it's sitting at 1.222. So that, again, the Eagles are an eight and a half point favorite. Um, I really don't see this as much of a contest. Philadelphia at home, I think the Eagles uh, come out with the win and cover in a game over the line. Houston and New England. Here's a surprise team in the league: the Houston Texans in at four and one. Their only loss was, it was a blowout, but, I mean, every other game was a win. Minnesota blew them out 34-7, but other than that, they've been playing very well at 4-1. and one. And New England and losers of their last four at 1-4. and four. You can see dead status for New England and burning hot for Houston. The Texans are 6.5-point road favorites with odds coming in at 1.345 to 3.350. The over-under is a rather low 37.5. But not a surprise because the teams have been trending in games under the line. Uh, you see here, Houston is a, a four and a half star road favorite, a game winning pick, and those teams are one and zero in the last 30 days. Now, uh, Houston has also won 80 percent as favorites in the last five games. Uh, everything is trending towards Houston in this one. If you look at the the score prediction, is Houston 32, New England 11. Confidence in the prediction is rather high at 71 percent. Let's take a look here. Um, the power ranks indicator, Houston, a decided advantage of 22 to plus 5. Let's take a look at the volatility, how stability, or excuse me, how stable are the two teams right now. Both of them are moderately stable at plus 2, which means they've been fairly consistent at uh, playing in accordance to their favorite underdog status. Let's take a look at the money line here. You see it opened at 1.323, and you can see then right here there was a, right there. See, smart money is coming out in on New England because the favorite was so high for Houston at 6.5. But then you see it, it leveled back out pretty much, but then it's back down to 1.345. So although Houston is a favorite, not quite as big of a favorite as it was when they opened up, but still a rather large favorite. And I don't see New England doing anything. They're just team's a mess right now. I like um, the Texans to win and cover in a game over the line. And the next one we want to look at is not Tampa and New Orleans, although that might be a good game in the uh, NFC South. I'm just not covering that one here today, but you guys can take a look at that if you like. 
uh, Washington and Baltimore. This here for me is the game of the week because the Commanders coming in a very surprising four and one. Baltimore red hot as well after winning their last three, and they are three and two. You see, Baltimore is a home favorite by nearly a touchdown, six and a half points, with uh, odds of 1.328 to 3.450, and the over/under is a rather high 51.5. And not a surprise because you look, the teams have been involved in games over the line mainly this season. Take a look here. Baltimore is a five-star game-winning pick. And five-star game-winning picks in a, uh, that are burning hot are 1-0 and oh in the last 30 days. There's an 83% winning rate predicting the last six Baltimore Ravens games. That's five out of the last six. Let's take a look at a couple other things here. Power ranks. Baltimore at plus 31, and even though Washington is 4-1, and one, they are on the upswing at plus 7, but still not rather high considering they are 4-1. Maybe they aren't true believers yet in Washington. I don't know. We will see. Um, let's take a look at the money line. This is the Ravens' money line opening at 1.303 and is currently at 1.328. So not too much of a movement. There's been some movement, but not too much of a movement. Still uh, very strong home favorites. And I am in accordance with this. I do like the Ravens in this one. I mean, Washington has been playing really well, but I think the, the Commanders have met their match in this one in Baltimore, and I think Baltimore wins it in a game over the line. The last game we wanted to look at is the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Raiders. The Steelers are coming off a tough loss against Dallas in the last minute, while the Raiders are also coming off of a loss, but that was 16 points against Denver. Um, both teams are average down status. The Steelers are a... Two and a half point road favorite and odds at 1.606 to 2.40. The over under is a low 36.5. And the teams are trending in games on opposite sides of the over under line. So whenever I see that, I usually like to tend to avoid the over under bet. If you look at the score prediction, it is for Pittsburgh 28, Raiders 20. Now, if that happens, that is well over the line. But the confidence in the prediction is very low at only 30%. If we take a look at the power ranks, the, the two teams are nearly identical. Uh, Raiders plus 10, uh, Steelers plus 9. A little bit on opposite uh, trends right now. The stability factor, again, Pittsburgh minus 2, Raiders 0. So neither team particularly consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. Uh, last year, Pittsburgh won on the road in uh, Vegas. That was back in September of last year. The opening money line has Pittsburgh at 1.667. And you can see there's a little bit more of a favorite right now than there were before at 1.606. So more money coming in. Um, so again, I think the Steelers, again, before I'd make the final pick, the Steelers also have plus 19 to minus 35 scoring differential edge. I really don't see the Raiders doing much in this one, even though they're playing at home. I like Pittsburgh to continue uh, the trend. Uh, the Steelers winning. It might not be by a whole lot, but they will definitely cover because all they needed to do is win by a field goal to cover. So they will win and cover. So there you have it. Those are the games for the NFL for week six. Happy betting and see you next time.